Hi Sagittarius, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're doing really, really well. And this reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius sign. We'll take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance and possible outcomes. I'll also choose a couple of Oracle cards for additional information. And uh, this week in the Northern Hemisphere, we have the winter solstice. So we welcome winter in and uh, uh, Let's see what the cards have for you. So we have Luna, which is the moon, major arcana. We have the four of swords and we have Stella, which is the 17th major arcana. And Stella, I believe, um, is in alignment with the star. So you see this moon card, uh, we see reason, will, and appetite. The three parts, three soul parts that make up a human, according to Plato. And so here we have the greyhound, that's the soul of the appetite. We have another greyhound here that is the soul of will, and the mermaid is the soul of reason. So if you see the mermaid, oh, here comes Romeo. The mermaid is in water and is in, in air, able to be at home in both places. So when we think about the moon, we think about our subconscious and our conscious mind, our fears. There, oh, oh, yeah, oh my, yeah, this is what happens. Romeo, oh my gosh, just, just, okay, just make your, make yourself known, make yourself known. This is what happens <laughs> if I don't shut the door in the bedroom, my friend, oh buddy, why are you so attracted to the tarot? Why are you so attracted to the tarot? You just love being right here. Goodness gracious. Oh, look at look at the camera. What what? Are you biting mommy? Don't you bite mommy? Okay. 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 Hi everyone. So I'm back after Romeo interrupted the reading. And so I believe that I was talking about the mermaid and the, the connection between our consciousness and our subconsciousness. And so she, uh, she's brought along appetite and will with her as she's emerging here from the water. So when we think of the moon, and particularly this weekend with the full moon, you know, we think about the night, we think about things that we don't see so clearly. We should be thinking about our dreams and our intuition and really the depths of our own essence and what lies beneath. And so when, we, when we're looking at the moon, you know, there's the, the push and pull of our emotions, of our beliefs, of our feelings. And again, it's sometimes appearances under moonlight may be distorted. They may not be what you think they are. And so this perhaps is an indication that if you have to make a decision, you may, may want to take your time in making a decision, an important decision simply because of this nature of the moon, which is, I think of it as wondrous and, you know, the ability to be calm, to find stillness, to, to dig deep within yourself, the hidden aspect of ourselves. I think that's important. And I think it's a welcome, uh, it's an opportunity that welcomes you to really figure things out. It's deep work. 
And when we do this deep work here, then it can get us to a better spiritual path. So with this moon card, which is we're looking at the night and we're thinking about um, the brilliance of the moon, here is the Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords, this uh, woman here is in uh, prayer pose, perhaps, in meditation or in contemplation. And I think that's an important word for this reading, which is the word that comes to mind is ease, is trying to find tranquility or peace of containing conflict or the people that provide the conflict or the drama. Avoid them. You know, this is a day to avoid the difficult people. This is a day for you to rest, to find peacefulness, to be thoughtful. And again, to connect to one's subconscious and to, to really reflect on dreams. You know, when you begin to access your psychic intuitive abilities, abilities your dreams become more, I think, profound and much more lucid that you, it really, everything begins to feel much more heightened. So with this Four of Swords, it really is a sense of having a retreat. For some of you, it may be a physical retreat. For others, it may be a mental retreat. You just may need to back off maybe some complex or challenging things that you're facing. So with the idea of rest and recovering and finding peace, removing yourself from situations that are difficult, that will drain you. Here's uh, Stella or the star. And in this illustration, we see she's almost levitating. She's um, rising. She's really ascending. And within this deck, one of the unique uh, ideas that Robert Place develops, it's about the ascension to through the seven planets and really getting to, I think, light and the vision of light. It's really the opportunity to, again, find peacefulness here. I see that the sense of moving toward thoughtfulness, calmness, and peacefulness. This star, although it's not featured in this illustration, we know that the star has a connection to earth and water. So she's ready here to ascend. In our lives, you know, when we have challenging times, when we have conflict, when we have things that don't work out, we let our dreams help us. And those dreams can save us in many ways because it gives us the freedom to believe that we can restore and to have the life that we want to lead. And so when we wish upon a star, when we look to the heavens for guidance, when we are trying to find the most brilliant and radiant light of all, then we can make some sense of the world and bring peace to ourselves, optimism and faith. So again, it's the belief that the universe is going to watch out for you and to, again, to channel the intuitive message to you. You have to believe. And, uh, you know, this is, I, I think that what we're looking at here is really a, a time to contemplate, a time to retreat and to protect yourself emotionally and to pay attention to your dreams and the things that are bubbling below the surface. It's not always that to me, um, the moon isn't always this negative connotation of people are holding secrets. You know, the secrets are what we keep within our hidden talents. And uh, it takes time to reveal. It takes time to have the faith and the belief to let them rise. So that's what I see with this um, reading for today that was uh, blessed by Romeo. So let's see what we have in terms of numerology. We have um, 18 and four is 22. 22 and 17 is 39, 39 reduces to 12, 
12 reduces to 3. 3 is about group activities. It's about expression, communication, being creative. And there's a lot of water here. Water also suggests being creative, focusing on creativity. And finally, let me choose an oracle card for an affirmation for the day. Open your heart, Archangel uh, Shemuel. I'm not sure how to say that. Thank you for removing the barriers around my heart. Again, the protection of our heart. When we close it up, not much can come out and not much can get in. But when we release and when we relax and we find peace and we feel a tranquil spirit, then the heart will flow and the love will flow from within and without you, as George Harrison said on Sgt. Pepper, the inner light, or I think that's what it is, or within without you, one of those songs. <laughs> so this is what I have for you for the day. I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. Subscribe, like this video, share this video. Check out my weekly readings by Zodiac Sign, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.